y'all it's quintella and i'm back with another video real quick if this is content that you are interested in please hit the like button hit the notification button and subscribe um my video today is gonna be on a quick homemade mac and cheese i have about three different versions but this one is for my supervisor for work so i just got home from work so I decided, you know what, let me make a video of my mac and cheese because it is one of the most requested things among my friends and family. It's always a staple. It's something that I have to make. I don't care what kind of gathering we're doing. My mac and cheese is a must. Um, are y'all liking the hair color? It is that hair paint. Y'all seen the videos of them doing it. This was that orange or whatever. If you're interested, ask me. I'll show it to you. Maybe I'll link the um information for this particular color below um but really quick i wanted to show you the ingredients that i will be using today here are the ingredients i have um two things of sharp cheese one is extra sharp um it's from Kroger's, and this one is 16 ounces my Velveeta. i have another actual sharp which is 32 ounces um, I'll be using white pepper and my seasoning, the really cheap ones from the Dollar Tree, seasoning salt, onion powder, and garlic powder. I do have some black pepper, which I will also be using. I will be using some Himalaya salt and my elbows um, right here. Um, so I'm going to prep everything. Also, I am missing, I will be using some milk some heavy whipping cream, and some um, flour for my um, cheese sauce. Uh, but yeah, we'll be back. That'll be, this is my quick one. So progress so far, I have done um, the block of cheese. I like to shred mine. I know I can buy it already shredded. It's just that I like the sharp blocked. I think it has a more cheesier and it has that really intense flavor i went on and I, of course i did the one box of um these elbows which is a 16 ounce and i just want to add a little more in there because it's not full enough for me so we're going to add another little about a a half a box of a 16 ounce in there with that um my velveeta cheese i've already prepped it i like to cut it in cubes and what i'm going to do with this is I am going to, this is going to be my cheese sauce. And what I do is I use about a, a cup of flour to about three fourths of this block, which is, which, what is this one? This is a 32 ounce. So I'm using about three fourths of it right now up front when I make the cheese sauce. And then um, I'm also going to cut this in half and mix that in with it along with some flour and some milk. And I'm gonna use about a cup and a half to two cups of milk. And we're gonna make the mixture and we're gonna let it melt down. And that's what I'm gonna pour over it. Um, but I've already done my noodles and the noodles take about 12 minutes to cook once you get the water hot and boiling. Once the water begins to boil, then you add your noodles in and go ahead and do that. I like for mine to be really fluffy, which you can see they are. Um, what I am going to do right now, we're going to add in, I don't know if you can see it, I'm making a mess because I got to hold my phone right now so I can't find my sand. But I'm going to add in these two eggs and I add these two eggs to this. The eggs help, believe it or not, as far as holding everything together. Um, it works for me. I don't know what other people do. But this is just a quick mac and cheese one. This is just two different cheeses. I have one where I do about four or five other kinds of cheese, but this is just something really quick that I need to do. So you should be able to get all of this done within an hour, pop it in the oven, and just let it bake for about 30 minutes to 40 minutes, just depending on what kind of crust you want on it. Um, I'll be back. Okay, if y'all hear any frying in the background, that's my husband, he's baking lamb. But um, what I'm about to do right now is, like I said, I'm gonna do a cup of flour. So I have my flour right back here. I'm 
we're going to do one cup. One cup of flour. And as far as your milk, you can use any kind of milk you want. Um, I currently have 1% in my house, so that's what we'll be using. And um, I'll be doing the two cups of that. I think, yeah, two cups. And um, so what we're gonna do is, I'm gonna go ahead and place my cheese in there and have it in this pot right here. And what I like to do is I never do all of the cheese in one shot. I do a little bit at a time. What do I need to do? And um, I'm gonna add my milk first and then I'm gonna put it on the oven and I only, I'm only adding about a cup of milk right now. Pickle. So in a medium to low flame is what I have this on right now. And um, I'm just gonna wait for this to start melting down some before I add the flour. So we're just gonna let that melt. And what you wanna do is, you wanna have your, since this is a nonstick pot, have something so that you can constantly be stirring this cheese as it begins to melt down. So this process right here is a little tedious. Um, just depending, that's why I like to break up, cut up the um, cheese into pieces. And while it's in here, I'm still cutting. So as you can, so as you can see, the cheese is already melting down. And you want to stir. And I'm gonna go ahead and add in the other pieces. So now I'm just stirring. You can see how it's beginning to bubble and melt. You heard my husband in the background tell me I'm turning the fan on. This is day in the life, the weekday he cooked. He made some lamb with some red cabbage which is gonna be really good. There it goes, there goes my dinner. Um, but yeah, so we're gonna keep stirring this and I'm gonna begin to start adding in the flour now. So while I'm doing this process also, um, I will be adding in the seasoning. So I will be adding in the garlic seasoning, the onion powder, and the seasoning salt. And as you can see, it's beginning to get really thick. So I have to work, I have to put some more milk in here to kind of um, thin it out. Put some more milk. And we're gonna stir. And it looks lumpy, but I guarantee uh, it's gonna be beautiful once I'm done. Uh, so so here's the sharp cheese. I did shred some of it, about a half a block of it. So I'm just gonna take a little bit and we're gonna dump it. And we're gonna stir. I want this nice and thick. Um, I want this really gooey. Uh, and it is getting there. One more, add the rest of that. And now I'm just gonna let it simmer. And actually I'm gonna turn it off and just stir. So I've just placed all my seasonings in and everything is one teaspoon. Um, like I tell y'all, I do everything that tastes as far as my seasonings. But um, just for this, if somebody just wanted to follow it, you can do about one teaspoon of each. 
okay? But I like to taste stuff and see what it's looking like and see what it's doing. You see how thick that is? You have a nice thick consistency. So what I'm gonna do is go ahead and add, I only got it like a little bit of milk left. And it is on a very low, low simmer right now. So um, what I did do is go ahead and um, the other block of cheese, the extra sharp, I went on and shredded some of that. Okay, so there go my noodles. Here's the cheese from earlier. I'm just gonna start placing that on here. I did the egg wash already in it. And um, they like their cheese really. And then we're gonna stir. I'll break it up. Finished stirring all of the shredded cheese in there, and I still have a nice amount left, which I'll probably just put in a plastic bag because I'm going to have to make some more. Another uh, mac and cheese here in a couple of days. Um, so I don't know if I'm going to use that. I may and I may not. It just depends on this cheese sauce. So you'll see what the cheese sauce is looking like. It is really gooey. So we're going to just start pouring that on there. And you want to make sure that you mix it in really well. Um, I've already set up another pan up underneath it so that I'll have it ready when I get ready to put it in the oven. I'm going to sit that there for a minute. And you're going to slowly just work this in. And you see how thick it is? It is super thick, which is the way I want it at first. And I have to work it all in. And... Looks like a lot, but it really isn't. Just all of the cheese and everything, because when it cooks, it's gonna cook down. And I'm looking at this. Oh, I'm stuck in sweat. I'm gonna need to add some more pepper and um, salt. Mm. So just go ahead and work that in. And in the middle of working this in, my secret, heavy whipping cream. This will loosen it up, but it also helps keep that creamy base. This right here is my little secret weapon. And I don't do a whole lot. Um, that was maybe um, one fourth, if that. And you see how it's beginning now? to loosen up the cheese sauce on here. That is what you want. All right, so I am pouring the last, so I'm pouring the last of the cheese sauce on here. And so we're gonna scoop this all in here and be done with it. Finish mixing that on there. Look how thick that is. Nice and thick. But I want mine just a little looser. So when it bakes, it's gonna be beautiful. And guess what? We're uh we're done. We're gonna pop this baby in the oven. I'm gonna finish stirring it up some more. Because I want this looser than what it is. Because it's like super um, thick right now. It's a lot thicker than I wanted it to be. But that's okay. That's why we got the heavy whipping cream to help loosen it up. Or if you don't have heavy whipping cream, milk does the same thing. But like I told you, um, I like the heavy whipping cream just because it keeps everything creamier. Gives it a more creamier um, consistency. So. 
now I'm just moving it and packing it down. And I have my oven set to 375. It's still heating up. I preheated it. So I'm just waiting on it to get to the temperature I need it at. And for the first 15 minutes, 15, 20 minutes, I'm gonna bake this um, without putting anything on it. So normally, and then after that, I'll put some aluminum foil over it and let it finish baking. And, and I put this on here because I packed mine so tight, I know that, oven's ready, I know that it's gonna bubble up and it may bubble over. So to keep from messing up my oven and having to clean it, we'll just do it that way. But oh yeah, she is nice and beautiful. You see that? She pretty. Daddy, get the oven for me. So we're gonna put this in the oven. Put it in the oven. Bottom, yeah. All right, thank you, babe. So we're gonna put that in the oven and um, I'm just gonna let it cook for maybe about a half hour, give or take. And then maybe the last 10 minutes, <clears throat> I'll go ahead and cover it over. Um, and the reason why I'm doing that is, and normally I would bake it longer, but it's for tomorrow. So I don't want to completely um, cook the whole thing. What I'm going to do is get up in the morning and um, put it back in the oven for about 15, 20 minutes. Um, maybe a little longer than that. I think it's going to need for work. So I'll put it in for about a half hour for tomorrow and then take it to work. That way it'll be nice and hot when we get there because ladies at my job, we greedy. We'll probably be having mac and cheese for breakfast because it's my supervisor's birthday and she loves my mac and cheese. And I decided, okay, I'll do this quick one, which is only two cheeses. Um, basically that is it. Do y'all like watching me? If so, subscribe you like the content i got give me some likes <laughs> uh, yeah i'm gonna show y'all what she looks like once she finish um when the half hour is up Alrighty. so the mac and cheese is done and now we will let it cool see that beautiful golden so quick uh, update on this mac and cheese real quick. So I finished the mac and cheese and I was doing my video and my son came running in here thinking that the mac and cheese was for the house. And he is mad now. And my husband is in order and he mad. Talk about you always make extra. <laughs> I ain't make no extra because they gonna get some in another about a week. So I ain't wanna give them some now. You then got to the council for that. You making big decisions. That affects a lot of people. Okay? Yeah, it is. So, yeah, here it is. He mad. They mad about the mac and cheese, but it's because you ain't follow protocol. What is protocol? Addressing the council. I don't think I have to address the council about what I'm doing. Since when? You think you grown? I am. <laughs> yeah, here it is. Say that when you yeah, see Prince Cam. Hey, Cam, say hey. Hey, hey, Tay Tay. 